When people imagine a brand new baby, they usually imagine one of two things. Exhausted parents and a screaming baby, or an adorable little baby who's either sound asleep or gazingly, adoringly up at its parents who are gazing back at it. And the question is, first, which one do you see? And second, which one do you want to see? What if there was a way that you could ensure that your baby was that adorable little baby sleeping soundly and gazing up at you adoringly more of the time and screaming a lot less of the time? When I was pregnant with my with my fourth baby, I decided that I needed to have the perfect pregnancy and the perfect child, which of course obviously is not possible, but I needed to make it as close to perfect as possible. Now this was back in 2018, and so this was before the age of COVID where everything was online and you could access pretty much anything you wanted to. I also lived in a remote tiny town where I did not have access to the courses I wanted in the area. I know that eating well is one of the best ways of doing it. I lived above a bakery, so while I did eat well a lot of the time, I knew that eating well the whole time and only eating well was not going to happen either. So I did what I always do and I went to the library and got out as many books as I could find on pregnancy, relaxation, all that sort of thing. And I found three things that really helped me with my pregnancy and have a calmer baby. And I'd like to share with these with you, but first I want to tell you about my journey. When I discovered I was pregnant, it was the busiest period of my life. We lived above a bakery. I was in charge of the books. I was in charge of helping out with slicing the bread and putting together orders in the morning. I helped downstairs in the bakery with um, working at the front counter. And on top of that, I had three small children, only one of whom was at school in the beginning. And also I ran a medieval festival. So chaos was a part of my everyday life. And I hadn't had any perfect pregnancies yet or perfect births. My first one, I was induced, medically induced, and there was problems with the baby's heart rate and and having a fever, and at the end they were like, well, either this baby has to come out or we have to do a C-section, so you have one last chance to push, and if the baby doesn't come out, we're C-sectioning you. And so luckily I was able to push the baby out. Um, then there was problems with jaundice, and the second, and the second pregnancy I I lost to miscarriage, which was absolutely devastating. And the third was a pretty good pregnancy, but after the baby was born, I suffered from postpartum depression, which was absolutely debilitating. And I knew that I could not have that happen again with my fourth pregnancy he was breech and so it was a c-section which was a long recovery and so I didn't want to have another c-section although I knew that it was going to be harder to have it so I there were things I could control there were things I couldn't control how the baby came out and what happened during the birth were things I could partially control but not entirely 
And so I read lots and lots of books and I discovered three different things. I discovered the, the benefits of playing an instrument, the benefits of toning, and the benefits of a song for the baby. Now, having a song for a baby is something that is done in some countries still. Mostly, in the, in the book I read, it was talking about a place in, in Africa where they would sing a song to the baby while it was in the womb. And then once the baby was born, they would sing, sing it, the song, whenever it was hurt, whenever it was sad. And it was the baby song. Each baby had their own song, which I loved the idea of. While I was downstairs on the machines, slicing the bread and putting together orders, I started to sing. I didn't have a lot of time to myself, but I did have a lot of time when there was nobody else around, when I was working. And so I started to use that time to share my music with my baby again. I remembered when I was, when I was pregnant with my second child, my third pregnancy, I was teaching elementary school music and every day I sang, every day I played instruments. And I felt really good and I did really well up until the time that I stopped teaching. And after that, the music was no longer in my life and that's when I, after the baby was born, that's when I suffered from the postpartum depression. But that baby, she used to sing and she would sing a perfect octave and then up to a fifth. And it was, it was phenomenal. And even to today, she still loves playing instruments. She's one of my most musical children. They're all pretty musical, but she loves it the most. And, and so it seemed like a good way to, to be able to integrate it into my, my pregnancy. And I hear a lot of you saying, but I don't play an instrument, but I'm not musical, but I don't sing. And it doesn't really matter because you're not singing for anyone. You're singing for yourself and you're singing for your baby. And the singing, the music, it gives your baby a sound massage. It helps you to relax. And being more relaxed means that when you're, when you're stressed, the, there are stress hormones that can go into the plus, can pass through the placenta and, and make your baby more stressed when it is born. And so being able to relax gives better hormones to your baby and helps it to be more relaxed as well. Being stressed every now and again is not gonna be bad for your baby. But the more you're able to be relaxed, the more you're able to bring those, those moments of relaxation to yourself and to your baby, the more it'll help both you and your baby. And so, so I created a song that I sang. And after my baby was born, every time that that the baby fussed on a long car ride, which were often, one of the kids would would go and turn on the song. I recorded it when she was two months old in a studio. And, and having that was a game changer. Even today, when I give her a choice of a couple of different songs from a playlist to listen to before bed, her song is one that she always wants to listen to. And so being able to have those, to have their own song, to have 
the relaxation is something that is is really a huge a huge advantage for both during your pregnancy and after and in the course we go over how to either choose a song or or write your own song for your baby how to do toning and relaxation through music and also learning how to play the simplest instrument of all which is the lyre and being able to relax with an instrument and I am really excited to be able to share all these with you we have put together a weekend training and you will learn all of those and and exercises that you can do throughout your pregnancy so I'm really really happy to be able to share these with you and if you would like more information we do have a, a, a short lesson on how to do toning and using the, the lyre or another instrument whether you play the lyre or the guitar the, or the piano or other instruments they're all instruments can be used for this course and we integrate a few different ones to to give you an idea of how to use whatever instrument you play or if you don't play any how to play the lyre and and how to purchase a lyre and all that sort of thing so if you're interested in learning more click on the link below we have the link for learning how to do toning and also the link for joining us in the course you have a couple of bonuses in there as well learning how to play the lyre very basic foundational course there as well as something on my my way that i got through morning sickness and discovered that you didn't have to have it so those are both bonuses in the course and the price is a special price till the end of the year only so be sure to take advantage of that and we look forward to seeing you in the course and hope that we're able to help you have a more calm and relaxed pregnancy and a more calm and relaxed baby. So thank you for joining us and please feel free to share this with any of your friends and or anyone you know who might be pregnant. And we will see you in the course. Be sure to click below for the links to learn more. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you in the training.